Okay, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to build the highest occupied molecular orbital on butadiene. For that we're going to need one black 260 balloon. For the different orbitals we're going to use four blue 5 inch balloons as well as four white 5 inch balloons. That represent the orbitals in the pi system as we uh, look at the interaction of the orbitals in the highest occupied molecular orbital. For the carbon backbone, we're going to inflate this with five pumps of our Qualitex pump. Give it a burp, and then go ahead and twist that and tie it off. We're not going to use the whole balloon. There's about four inches uninflated, but we'll cut off the remainder as we get to the end. Since this is the end of the carbon chain, we're going to make a one inch bubble. We're going to take the nozzle and twist that into that joint. That makes a pinch twist. Since this is the end of the carbon chain, we need extra stability. So we're going to put a second one inch bubble and carefully create a second pinch twist. That's carbon one. Followed by a four inch bubble. So that's about four inches in, in length. And a one inch bubble, which we're going to then pinch twist. So there's carbons one, carbon two, a four inch bubble, followed by a one inch bubble. And pinch twist. That's carbon three. And we're on purpose making it in the cisoid orientation, so we're going to let it wrap around in a cis like uh, fashion. One, two, three, the fourth carbon is at the end of the chain. And notice we try to keep these bubbles fairly even to make it uh, symmetric. So a one inch bubble for a pinch twist, followed by a second one inch bubble for added stability at the end of the chain. So there's our four carbon backbone, all this extra balloon we can easily get rid of. We're simply going to take a pair of scissors and cut that off. I'll tie that off just so it doesn't deflate. So that's good and tied off. We're going to cut off the excess. That gives us now our four carbon back. We now start attaching the orbitals and we take one of each color representing the different signs of the lobes. Three pumps in each. And then tie those together. And we insert that in the joint and twist these in the horizontal position. So that gives that balloon a platform and it's fairly stable with the extra pinch twist at the end. So we continue down the chain. Twist that horizontal and push the balloon in place. So that represents one uh, pi bond. This is the sigma bond, this is the pi bond, the orbital interactions forming that bond. In the highest occupied molecular orbital of butadiene, there's a phase change, there's a node in the center. So the next two balloons will be opposite, they'll be white on top and blue on the bottom. You can show all four different orbitals of uh, butadiene by simply switching these back and forth, inverting the balloons represent the different uh, number of nodes in each of the orbitals. So three of that one. And three on this one. So this time we make sure that since there's a node here, white goes on top. Now you can see there's room for one more. And we just happen to have two more to go. And we 
tie those together. And again, we're going to insert that here, and as we insert it, we'll twist these horizontally. To help stabilize that balloon. So it locks that one in. Oops, as you can see, I made a mistake. It has to go this way. Now we have the highest occupied molecular orbital for butadiene. Just put it together, neaten it up, make it look fairly symmetric, and that's all there is to it.